Another day, yet another big news in the world of artificial intelligence. Baidu has just unveiled two groundbreaking AI models, Ernie 4.5 and the deep-thinking Ernie X1. But what's really shaking up the industry is that Baidu is making them free to use ahead of schedule. Yes, free. This move has caught everyone's attention, from AI researchers to tech giants. As Baidu is openly challenging OpenAI, Google, DeepSeek, and Tencent by offering powerful AI tools not just to major corporations, but to anyone who wants to use them. Baidu isn't new to AI. They were one of China's first major players in the AI race, launching a generative AI platform back in 2023. But they struggled to gain the same traction that OpenAI's ChatGPT did. Meanwhile, competitors like ByteDance and DeepSeek made big waves, with DeepSeek even claiming their AI reasoning model was on par with the best US-based models, but at a fraction of the cost. That claim alone sent shockwaves through the industry. Now, Baidu is hitting back with Ernie 4.5 and Ernie X1, and they're not holding anything back. Let's start with Ernie 4.5. This is Baidu's latest foundation model, which means it's trained on an enormous amount of data and can handle multiple types of tasks. It's what experts call a multimodal model. It doesn't just work with text, but also images, audio, and maybe even video. Baidu says it has improved language understanding, logic, generation, and memory. And get this, they claim Ernie 4.5 even has a high emotional intelligence, meaning it can understand humor, satire, and memes better than previous AI models. That alone makes it stand out. Imagine an AI that actually gets internet jokes instead of responding with something robotic and awkward. One of the key benchmarks Baidu is boasting about is its performance on DocVQA, which measures how well an AI can understand complex documents. Ernie 4.5 scored over 90% on this test, which is a big deal for businesses and researchers handling massive amounts of text, like legal contracts, research papers, and corporate reports. But Baidu didn't stop there. They claim Ernie 4.5's overall multimodal abilities rival OpenAI's GPT 4.0, citing precise numbers like 77.77% in visual question-answering tasks. For developers and researchers working with both text and images, this could be a game-changer. Now let's talk about Ernie X1. This is Baidu's first deep-thinking AI model and they're calling it a reasoning-focused model. In simple terms, it's built to think more like a human, making decisions and solving problems in a smarter way. Baidu is openly comparing it to DeepSeek's R1 model, but claims Ernie X1 delivers the same level of performance at half the cost. That's a bold statement. They highlight its success in benchmarks like CMMLU, which tests Chinese language comprehension, and a math test called Math 500. Here's the really interesting part. Baidu claims Ernie X1 actually outperformed GPT 4.5 in that math test. Think about that for a second. Outperforming GPT 4.5 in mathematical reasoning is a huge achievement, especially when advanced AI assistants are expected to be experts in logic and problem solving. But why is Baidu making these models free? Developing advanced AI is incredibly expensive. So what's the strategy here? It's actually a clever play. By making their models free, Baidu is attracting a massive user base. The more people use their AI, the more real-world data they collect. More data means better improvements, and better models mean more opportunities for enterprise deals, research advancements, and future partnerships. And while the AI itself is free, Baidu can still generate revenue by integrating it into their cloud services or search engine. It's a long-term strategy that could pay off big time. Another major move Baidu announced is that they will open source parts of their Ernie model starting June 30th. This follows a trend set by DeepSeek, which also open sourced its model to attract developers. It's turning into an arms race. Who can get the most developers and users on board? The competition is heating up fast. Tencent released a model in February that claims to be faster than DeepSeek. Alibaba is partnering with Apple to integrate AI into iPhones in China and has committed over $52 billion to AI development in the next three years. ByteDance, the company behind TikTok, also has its own AI chatbot that quickly gained popularity. 
everyone is scrambling to capture user attention and offer the best AI at the lowest cost. But it's not just companies getting involved. The Chinese government is heavily investing in AI, with local governments in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangdong, and Zhujiang pouring money into AI industry hubs. Shanghai is focusing on open source development and data sharing initiatives. Guangdong is rolling out policies to support AI and robotics, even offering subsidies of up to 8 million yuan per project. Analysts predict that China's AI sector could be worth over 811 billion yuan by 2028. With this kind of investment, it's clear why companies like Baidu are moving aggressively to secure their position in the AI race. One interesting twist in all of this is that Baidu previously integrated DeepSeek's R1 model into its search engine. That means they recognize DeepSeek's strength, but are now pushing their own AI to become the dominant platform. They don't just want to be another AI provider. They want to be the go-to AI solution at every level, from consumer chatbots to enterprise applications. And they're playing up their cost advantage. For example, Baidu claims Ernie 4.5 is only 1% the price of GPT 4.5. Even their token pricing is competitive, with Ernie 4.5 costing as little as 0.4 yuan per 1,000 input tokens and 0.16 yuan per 1,000 output tokens. If you're a startup or a developer working with AI, that kind of pricing is a huge advantage. Of course, the big question is whether Baidu can keep up this momentum. Training and maintaining AI models is extremely costly. While making the models free is great for publicity and adoption, Baidu still has to cover the costs of cloud servers, research, and data centers. In 2024, they saw a 26% jump in cloud income, but their non-GAAP net income dropped by 6%. That could indicate financial challenges ahead if they keep offering AI for free without a solid revenue plan. Still, the response has been overwhelming. Millions of users rushed to try Ernie Bot as soon as Baidu announced it was free. Developers are already testing Ernie 4.5's capabilities, using it for things like medical image analysis and financial data interpretation. Some are even calling March 16, 2025, a turning point in AI history, the day a major company challenged the idea that you have to pay big bucks for advanced AI. This also raises the question, how will Western AI companies respond? DeepSeek's success in offering cost-effective AI has already pushed OpenAI and others to rethink their pricing and release schedules. OpenAI may feel pressure to accelerate its rumored GPT-5 launch or come up with more competitive pricing. And within China, competitors like ByteDance and Tencent aren't going to let Baidu take all the spotlight. Tencent recently introduced Hunyuan Turbo S claiming it generates text twice as fast as before. ByteDance saw a surge in chatbot adoption, and Alibaba is pushing its own open-source reasoning model. The AI landscape is shifting fast. What used to be a playground for massive corporations is now opening up to researchers, developers, and even small businesses worldwide. With free AI models like Ernie 4.5 and Ernie X1, we could be witnessing the start of a new era in AI accessibility. But will Baidu's bold move pay off, or will they eventually have to start charging for access? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for similar content. Then watch the next video that will appear in front of you. See you there.